All right, welcome back. We got Mountain Fork Brewery Crumpet English Style Brown Ale, 5.5%. Uh, it's brewed in uh, Broken Arrow, I'm sorry, Broken Bow, Oklahoma. Yes, Broken Arrow is an actual town here in Oklahoma. All right, I don't see a can on date or whatever, so we're gonna go with that. There have been a, uh, one, uh, 1,500 check-ins, an enjoyable malt-forward brown ale that finishes clean. Let's see here. All right. I did pick this up and one other from them on a singles. I try to do singles as often as I can, so. Little, honestly like a Coca-Cola and then dryness, not like super sweet, but the smell of Coca-Cola. If I can get past the damn head, I get uh, like a slight coffee. Still a little dry bitterness. Cheers. Yeah. Slight roast up front. Uh, coffee notes kind of linger through. Not like gourmet coffee, but like, you know, you just want some damn regular brewed black coffee. Uh, a little bitterness from that. A little fill. A little dry. It does finish rather nicely though. It doesn't leave you with a, like a, feel like you just like sand or something like that. Uh, established in 2015, our water comes from the pristine mountain Fork River. We believe that from a good source comes a good beer. Our goal is to produce easy drinking, creatively crafted beer with you in mind. Never been there. Um, maybe I've had some of their stuff at events. I don't believe so. I don't know. All right. Let's see what the wonderful people here have to say. Super smooth, pretty mild in flavor. This person, Scotty J, gave it a one. Doesn't say why. Uh, this is good. It's a nice brown, mild roast and a little caramel note. It has a loose mouthfeel and good overall. Maybe Anthony has a loose mouthfeel. <laughs> uh, solid brown ale. Uh, maltier than expected, but still great flavor. Fucking smooth mouthfeel. What do you say? Loose mouthfeel. I'm gonna start using that term on Tinder. Just kidding, I'm married. Uh, nice multi English ale with a little roastiness along with some caramel sweetness. Smooth and a little richer than expected for the moderate ABV. Side note, went to Texas two days ago and didn't stop off any breweries. Um, did manage to get some, uh, actually, yes, on the way back home, we stopped off for some barbecue. And it just so happens uh, it was a brewery in, inside as well. So I got a couple of pours and then spent maybe $80 on beers to take. Uh, all right, that's it. I'm not reading anymore because it seems like. Only one out of 20 people is actually saying something. I think it's a little light for me. Uh, I want more actual hard-hitting flavor. Um, to say that this is finishes clean, I, I don't care, dude. If you're already trying to go for something roasty, leave on it being fucking roasty or bitter or something other than uh -huh. it was a beer I mean, 10 seconds ago now it's nothing um 
that's just me. I prefer something a little stronger. I don't know who you're trying to market this to, you know, age group or mentality. Uh, but it's not for me. Uh, this did get a 3.66 out of 5. I do 1 through 10. So that'd be a 7.5-ish. 7 a quarter. I don't fucking care. Um, it's not terrible. I mean, it's it's so light that I'm going to finish it. It's, you know, if it was so strong and or just gross, I'd trash it. But tastes fine. Just not mm, up here. It's like, eh. I'm going to say 5.5. So, actually not a bad beer if you want something light. If you want something you can, you know, if you like something a little roasty, a little mild on the on the darkness kind of a feel there, um, get a sixer, kill it. I mean, whatever. We'll be seeing you.